What's up everybody? This is Tim Whittemore with the Whittemore Group here in the beautiful Destin Fort Walton Beach area here on the Emerald Coast. If this is your first time to our channel, we do tons and tons of videos about everything you need to know about our area. Now as a military vet, 14 years, and a military spouse out in so many places. <laughs> and every time I moved somewhere, there was always such a lack of information of where to move to and what to anticipate. That's why we created this channel for you. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click that little bell, so you're notified every single time we've got a new video coming out. Now honestly, we get tons of phone calls, emails, texts from people that are like, hey, what is it like to eat, sleep, work, play in this area? We absolutely love hearing from you guys. So if you are moving here, got some questions, need some help, hey, give us a call, text, email, heck, shoot us that little apparently. <laughs> Whatever you gotta do, uh, we got your back. I'm moving here to the Destin Fort Walton Beach area, and of course here in Miramar. So here in Miramar Beach, where is it? Well, if you know where the Emerald Coast is, that's going to be Pensacola to Panama City Beach, right here on the Panhandle of Florida. Right smack dab in the middle, that's where Destin is. It's your destination place. <laughs> Sorry. But just to the east of that, we do have Miramar Beach. Now, Miramar Beach is a lot like Destin in certain respects, except there's, it's a little bit more, well, we're about to get into that. <laughs> Everybody loves this area, especially because of the white sand beaches, the crystal clear, turquoise, emerald colored water, depending upon the day, the beautiful sunsets that you can walk out on the beach and see each and every evening, you know, providing there's not cloud cover. It is just absolutely gorgeous to be in this area. What, why do people like coming here? Well, number one is because of the location and proximity to things, right? Uh, it's very close to Destin and Destin is where all the vacationers typically go. So there's like a lot of crowds that will go into the Destin area. And that's where you go to do the crowd sort of things, right? You want to go out to dinner, you want to um, go down to the harbor walk, you want live music, uh, you want to have a delicious libation by handing and hand, just hanging out at the beach or jumping on a boat going to Crab Island. That's where all the activity is, right? It's going to be right there in Destin. So you're really close to that. Not just that, but just go down now to the east a little bit more in you're going to hit the highway or Route 30A. Now, 30A is the luxury area of the Emerald Coast. It's where some of the most expensive houses are going to be and some of the just most gorgeous areas that you're going to encounter here on the Emerald Coast. It's, uh, it's quite pricey in there if you ever try to uh, get a nice piece of uh, property there, but honestly, a lot of people say that it's just absolutely worth it to be down in that area. And some people will say that the 30A area kind of starts in Miramar Beach. I don't really buy into it personally, mainly because it's not on Route 30A, and I think that's where that's supposed to be. <laughs> that's just my personal opinion about it. But you're right there. I absolutely love the 30A area in Miramar Beach. Uh, just, just being down in that area is a lot more relaxed. Uh, my wife and I go for staycations when we go down to like Seaside or something like that throughout the year. It's just, it's a really nice place. So the location and proximity everything is great for Miramar Beach. Of course, the beauty and charm. You know, I, I can't say it enough about the white sand beaches, the emerald colored waters, the coastal landscapes that are out here. Um, and really, it, it's just nice because you can go out there, get to some of these public beach accesses and or access ease and then you're just going to be able to go out and just kind of stroll relax go to one of the beach bars if you want to and just walk down the beach uh, and just leisurely stroll wherever you really want to one of the things that i really love about that especially as a real estate agent is we, we travel out there all the time and there's this one stretch just down scenic uh, 98 that you're going to go down and all of a sudden it just opens up from the beach like townhomes that are on the water there and then you just look out and you can just see the color of the water you see the beach and it's just right there as you're driving it just I, i've lived here over a decade and it still gets me every time you're like <laughs> absolutely breathtaking every single time um, 
But as we kind of move on, some of the unique features that Miramar Beach has is, is realistically the laid back experience. Because of all the crowds not being there, it seems a little well, less crowded, I guess. And it's not as overwhelming as, as certain other places. Now, Miramar Beach also has unique features to where a lot of those things are a little bit more watercolor, like even the buildings and the condos, even the restaurants. They're more whitewash, kind of like you're going to see towards the 30A area. Uh, there are tons of different shopping and restaurants. Restaurants are great. And it's kind of like the half step between being in the 30A environment and still being out, able to have quick access to Destin. So what are some of the attractions that you have out there? Uh, well, obviously the beaches. <laughs> you have the beaches. Um, the big thing that I love that I was just talking about is the food. There's great, great uh, food options out there. Of course, seafood is obviously something that you want to go check out. There's tons of those. But other ones that you wouldn't anticipate, like there's a great Greek food out there called the Gian. Um, there's, there's great Italian food. There's, it's all over the place. And because of it being a, uh, a tourist destination, there's, there's a lot of money. There's a lot of people that go through it that support a lot of these businesses. And they're just phenomenal, quite honestly. Now, you do have a lot of water sports and outdoor adventures when you're going out there too. I mean, jet skiing, if you want, get right off the beach and get to the golf. They've got parasailing, they've got paddle boarding, kayaking, you name the water sports, we've got it, all right? Obviously deep sea fishing, if you like to scuba, that's another great thing that you can go out and do um, in golf. So one thing about Miramar Beach is it's right next to the Sand Destin Resort, which has a north part of it that's on the bay, and then the south that's obviously towards uh, the gulf. But there's tons of trails and all sorts of different things to do out there. Baytown Wharf is one of those places that you can go check out. Um, I still go out there sometimes just to kind of hang out. They've got their own restaurants or own like little themed towns and everything out in there. And there's typically some sort of festival or some sort of event going on each and every week from the spring all the way into the fall. And it's just really nice to go check out. So, uh, People ask, it's like, hey, if I'm going to go live in the Miramar Beach area, is this really a desirable choice? And it's really nice because this, this area isn't just all vacationers. It really does extend beyond the vacationers sort of vibe. Now, if you want to be part of that, of course that exists. But there are subsets inside Miramar Beach where there are gated communities, where there's not short-term rentals, and there's a community that you can establish yourself in that's out there. I know there's a lot of people that kind of think that it's just tourism, but it's, well, it's not. <laughs> uh, outside the natural beauty, the recreational activities you can do, there, there's really a strong sense of community when, when you do go to the Miramar Beach area. Uh, it's also got world-class dining options, shopping centers, so if you go out there, Silver Sands, uh, premium outlets are out there too. That's a big attraction in Miramar Beach. Uh, there's plenty of entertainment venues, some of which that I just mentioned before. Fishing, golfing, biking, you got it, right? Uh, the big sort of takeaway from this area when you look to move, you've got a good mix of upscale properties, whether that's going to be beachfront estates, whether it's going to be condos on or off the water. You also have uh, those separate communities uh, that are just long-term renters or owners that are going to be in those areas. And it's, it really just sort of sets itself apart. Uh, a lot of people that live here want to move out to this area to have access to these amenities and this just relaxed atmosphere um, outside of, well, maybe school districts of uh, Niceville or something like that. So it, it, it's really kind of, it's a really nice community to go out to. So some of the common questions uh, that people have asked since, well, we've had this channel, I do want to address here. And uh, one of it is uh, Miramar Beach, is it worth visiting? Well, I could say absolutely. If you like the beach, this is a good place to go. If you're gonna spend most of the time on your beach, absolutely. Uh, you also have those access to the water sports, outdoor activities, uh, the atmosphere, the restaurants. Uh, it's, it's really depending upon if you're looking for that, it's just been un, 
it's an unforgettable vacationer's experience for sure. Uh, so the other one was, is Miramar Beach as pretty as Destin? Well, it depends. <laughs> of course it depends. Um, Destin's really nice because you have the harbor walk down there. There's a ton of stuff to do. Uh, if you get up into the Emerald Grand and you get that view from there and you can see all of Destin, it's absolutely gorgeous. Something about having the jetties right there and then you have Destin Harbor and then across the bridge you also have uh, Crab Island. There's just so much going on and it's still gorgeous. But I'm going to take it back. <laughs> The beaches in Miramar, I think, are better, right? I think the, the beaches in Miramar are a little bit more open. It seems more relaxed. There's a little less going on. And like I told you, that driver earlier in this video, it still takes your breath away. It really does. And even when I drive over the Destin Bridge, there's a certain feeling you get to when that water is just that bright color. It's just it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it's hard to pick between the two as a local here, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to go with Miramar being the better of the two, or I'm sorry, is Miramar Beach less crowded than Destin? Yes, yes it is. Now, still during peak seasons, it's gonna be crowded all around. Is one gonna be more crowded than the other? Absolutely, right? For me, uh, it's gonna be more relaxed in, in Miramar. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit more spread out and uh, it's, it's less of the hustle and bustle that you're gonna see in the, in the Destin area. However, uh, little trick here if if all of that if you're going dur during the peak season and you know it's going to be busy my suggestion is to head across the other side of Destin and go into Okaloosa Island which is technically part of Fort Walton Beach and go into those beach accesses it won't be as crowded and I know it's six miles through beach dunes of nothingness but there's also access points throughout that um, that preserve that's out there too so if you really want to get there and not be as crowded that is probably the best place to go uh, for the beach atmosphere. And the last question I had is Miramar Beach swimmable? Absolutely it is. Absolutely. The Gulf of Mexico, it's going to feel like bath water for most of the season. I'm also a triathlete, so I'll go open water swim, depending upon what the condition, flag conditions are. Uh, but it's absolutely swimmable. Uh, they do have rip currents out there that you do need to be aware of where it will just take you out. So make sure that you read the signs for that and make sure that you're swimming in an area that really doesn't have too much of that if you can. But absolutely it's swimmable. It's gorgeous. The water temperatures, it feels like bath water sometimes. It's, it's very, it's, it's, it's just an experience. <laughs> a wonderful experience. But yeah, that's, uh, that's all I have for Miramar Beach and a, a haven for beach lovers. If you have anything else that you'd like to put in here, maybe you have a great experience in the Miramar Beach area, please leave it here in the comments below. Or if you have any additional questions, I'd love to answer that. Again, leave it here in the comments below. Try to keep it positive. <laughs> Seen some crazy ones already, all right? Um, and of course, if you are going to be moving here permanently, maybe looking at a second home or an investment, please reach out to myself or my team here. We'd love to help you. We've got experts in all different sorts of areas to help you accomplish your goal of owning a little piece of paradise. So if that is the case, give us a call, text, email, find us on social media. I'd be happy to help. We'd be happy to help any way that we can. But my name is Tim Whittemore. I'm with the Whittemore Group here with LPT Realty. We'll see you in our next video. Take care.